anti-siphon valve froze on you. You normally break the internal components here and when it defrosts, the water, you'll see water shooting out from underneath this cap. It means you have to replace the internal parts here. I'm gonna show you what they look like. It's pretty easy to get to. And you take this top bolt off and what you have inside is just this plastic piece right here. Here's an upper shot of what I'm looking at. It's just this plastic piece and it unscrews. It's normally just tightened, barely tightened with a hand tight and that comes out. I'm having trouble unscrewing the internal parts of the valve. So there must be pressure or vacuum on it. I'm going to open the discharge valve and relieve the pressure. You'll see that here in a minute. And now it's easier to unscrew the assembly. You can see it just unscrews. So what you have here is just a spring-loaded plastic valve that seals in here. It screws in. You have an O-ring here. So you see you're going to have an O-ring, the internal bottom part of the valve, and the upper spring-loaded stem. So if it froze, sometimes this will even be off of it, you'll, or you'll see this here and water will be coming underneath it. So to replace the, the parts in here, the first thing you want to do is put your O-ring on the plastic assembly. Put it back together like this, and the whole assembly you're just going to screw it back in place. And this doesn't need to be real tight, so you can just hand tighten it like that, and that should be fine. Once you got that done, this is just a cap to protect everything. Put your cap back on. Once you get your cap on, there's just one nut. This is just a cap that sits on top of that plastic piece. So it doesn't be real tight. Again, that's it. Turn your water back on, you should be ready to go.